morning and welcome to my makes that I've made recently I haven't make, been making a video um, I did attempt to make uh, a video for a quilt the quilt did not turn out right and I'm still trying to work out on that why uh, in the meantime uh, I've made this dressing gown let me just show you down uh, I bought this fabric from Barry's I did um, a video on it about two years ago it costs either a pound or two pound uh, a meter so it's uh, been a very cheap make uh, it's got black and white hearts and it's like a summery pink background it's the most easiest make I've ever made and this would be absolutely brilliant for a first time sewer who knows the sewing machine knows how to do quilt um, straight lines and then but wants to take on a project this would be brilliant now the reason I didn't do a tutorial is because there's already tutorials on YouTube this is the pattern and you've also got pajamas uh, nightgowns and shorts and tops in this one and it's McCall's 2476 highly recommend it for a beginner that's just starting to sew and wants an easy project to start with there you go there's no facings uh, there's a couple of di uh, different point difficult points which is why I've tried to find I was going to do a tutorial but as I say there's already two people if you are a beginner please use cotton this is like a, a crepe material it's a little bit stretchy I didn't have any problems but cotton is definitely easier this next project uh, wasn't a freebie it's from yummy king cole patterns let's get that a bit closer for you and it's a poncho and this is the knit poncho it is so easy it's just made in two pieces there's one that goes over that shoulder there's the other one that goes over that shoulder and you show it in sew it in two places one there one at the back and if you want to do a lace pattern so there's two patterns in one very easy for children of different ages this is for a seven to eight year old uh, a friend's uh, little uh, granddaughter I had some wool this is chunky wool I had some wool and it's modern so I've used two different colours it's the same at the back as the front and it was so easy the pattern cost about £3.50 from our local knitting shop in the town I did find to I did manage to find uh, a free pattern for knitters, knitters Marion's Lazy Daisy Days it's a blanket these can be made for premature babies or preemie babies and other other size babies or even dolls uh, that is that is all the pattern is just that little one little one page there and that says for a small preemie baby or doll so that's a free pattern so if you put in your browser Marion's Lazy Daisy Days it should come up with this pattern the next one which I haven't done yet it's a knit infant hat and this is for super chunky yarn so if you've got a little bit of super chunky yarn left over from an old project uh, you do this in the round no I've never made anything in the round so that's why I was sort of like it's three needles never done that before so I thought I would have a go uh, so it's there it is again so if you put in your browser uh, knit infant hat everyday art then you should it's size 15 knitting needles knit infant hat you should be able to find this pattern there you go so that's that one so that's preemie babies super chunky yarn and last but not least uh, this is the pelican tote by bagstock design and i made 
it's called a tote in the USA and it's called a shopping bag here this could be a shopping bag a small shopping bag or a work bag you get plenty big enough to fit um, a computer in a laptop and it's also got a, another bag you can make with the same pattern and this is free so here's one I made for myself and it's got all my work stuff in at the moment and I made it with longer straps that uh, would actually serve as a cross crossover if I want to be hands free while I'm shopping and I used um, an upholstery fabric for the middle and a vinyl uh, for the outsides for the contrasting fabric and I used a uh, oh, I've got I've got to cut this off uh, I used a canvas for the, a waterproof canvas for the inside and my domestic handled that brilliantly there's it's got a uh, an inside zipper pocket there you go it's got all my bits and bobs in there's my purse and it does up with bending these over I had to double check this because I thought it was but it's different it's a different closure and I quite like that it's different so there you go that's bag stock designs free pattern and that's mine that I use for work now this one is exactly the same but in different fabric at the front and you should turn it round it's got exactly the same closure it's exactly it's got a zip on the inside there you go and that's shorter that's just a shoulder strap just to fit around the shoulder and that I've made that because a friend um, birthday was yesterday the same day as mine as it happens and uh, who I work with and she's 65 and retires although she's not retiring she's coming back three days a week but she can retire if she wishes and um, so I made that for her and I love these colours I got uh, I got uh, all this from Barry's Fabrics including the vinyl which is like an aqua colour and I actually prefer this one to mine but I do like the copper that's in mine so there you are then that's the pelican tote by Bags Bagstock and that is also uh, beginner friendly and there are also tutorials um, on YouTube and it's also a free pattern um, I've got more videos coming up uh, I have been a bit lazy just lately but uh, we're all allowed a break and a, and a holiday so thank you very much for joining me I um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, press the like and subscribe button and come back for more thank you bye bye